this part of it is really for all the girls that have got Hashimoto's like me. So us Hashimoto warriors, welcome. This is for you especially. Um, so obviously I travelled from New Zealand with six months of medication and six months of supplements. Uh, so I am on thioxin, um, but I'm also on HRT. Um, I also carry six months of vitamin C with me, uh, probiotics one, and magnesium, because magnesium is very important, obviously, for when you suffer from fromalgia, which I suffer from. So that's a uh, chronic pain. However, I have got that pretty much under control, actually, but simply by good diet. Uh, you need to rest well when you travel, so... Um, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, always stay three to four days in one particular place. So you can sure have also some time out and be back at your hotel no later than four or five o'clock. Okay, so for instance here, I have got the letter that I carried with me from New Zealand signed my, by my GP. So it states my name and it states the medication um, that I am on and it needs to have also um, the official stamp from the GP. Then in the Netherlands I was running out so I knew I had already discussed with my GP that I would get medication in the Netherlands so I keep all the receipts with me actually from there but now more importantly I'm actually now travelling with an official um, medicine passport um, so I keep that together with our passports and our vaccination documents um, in my handbag for when I am on border crossings so that now actually has uh, from the chemist um, her official stamp in it the same as you'll see on that documentation um, and it just states the medication um, that I'm actually on. Now, the one thing that people forget when they are travelling, never ever travel with headache tablets that have got codeine in them. In Russia, you will be instantly arrested. You will more than likely go into jail um, and you'll end up with a criminal record, which means that you can never, ever travel again in your life. You will simply not get into the US. Not that getting into the US is a um, big criteria at this particular point in time due to beautiful Trump. But hey, that's another subject. We simply decided not to travel to the US, even though we've got family living there, just to make a political statement. And... Um, <coughs> So yeah, be very careful with that headache tablets. Make sure that everything that you are carrying with you in your first aid kit has no codeine or any prescribed medication. Go on to your local government website and have a look in each particular country what medicine you are allowed to take and what you're not allowed to take. So headache tablets with codeine, absolute big, big no-no. Just take um, paracetamol with you or Panadol. That will actually do the same trick and you won't get arrested. Now, I was expecting to get checked in China when we entered and hence the reason why I was carrying the New Zealand letter with me. Keep all your medication in its original boxes so it has to have your name on it. Just keep those in your little medicine bag. So for me, my medicine bag is my little red bag which means high, high, high alert, um, this little bag, and it has everything in there. Oh, it's out. Yeah. So there you see, it's still sitting in its original boxes. So keep it in its original boxes. So if a border control custom officer wants to see it, they can see that that medication has been issued to you. Okay, that's it. Cheerio. Bye.